Hello, this is a tutorial going over how to set up your blog post list um, page in your uh, show it account. So as you can see here, I have a pretty basic uh, looking blog page. I actually created this one from a blank blog template. Um, usually one will already exist um, based on a template that you are using, but for the sake of showing you how everything works, I'm just going to create it from scratch. So the first thing you want to make sure is that the canvas, which here is called post list, is set as in post loop, which is going to allow the WordPress content to filter through. Um, I always click on combine use as posts and I will show you why here in a moment. So basically the way that the blog is set up, um, each canvas view is a different blog post that's going to be pulled from uh, WordPress. So in theory, each of these are going to be like this and then you could then duplicate them um, easily and move them over. But I think the best way to do this is to actually lay this all out before you move them into views so that it is much easier um, to design and have everything look equal. So I'm going to do all of this. I'm just duplicating something that I've already made here over and over again. I'm gonna center this. I'm gonna have six posts on this page just for the sake of this tutorial. Now, each of these images, I'm gonna make sure are checked as WordPress featured images because I want the WordPress featured image that I select in WordPress to show here uh, when this blog is live. Each of these titles here, we're gonna go into text properties, post title, post title, post title. Um, so when I copy and paste this row, um, all of those settings are gonna copy as well. And I have a little read more button here as well. So basically this is just going to be a click action to a WordPress post so that when you click on it, it will filter through. I also like to do this for the image so that if you click on the image, it's gonna take you to the WordPress post as well. Okay, so none of these, um, basically in order to have the WordPress placeholders, if you're not seeing this, you wanna go back to your canvas and make sure that it is in uh, a WordPress in post loop. Great, now I'm gonna duplicate this, move it down. Okay, great, so now I have six spots for blog posts here. I have one canvas view, so I'm gonna duplicate, actually I'm just going to add five more. What am I at here for? Five, six. So now you can see that I have six canvas views. So I'm going to take this number two blog post here, select that and drag it into view two, three, into three, four, into four, and so on. And it is important that these are in order or else they will not be in order the same order that they're in, in WordPress. Okay, great. So that is how you set up the post list section um, with multiple listings here. I also like to add um, some pagination here, which allows you to filter through if there are um, more than six blog posts. So basically we can make something that says newer posts here. And we can make an older posts. Make sure these are nice and aligned. And then the text property here is going to be older post link and newer posts like which will allow your users if you have more than 
the number of blog posts that you've allotted here um, to filter through them. Um, so this is pretty important if you have quite a bit of blog content. After you've set up your post list here, um, each of them are going to be in separate views. So I find if you ever want to edit any of this, the best way to do that is to um, take all of these and put them back into one canvas view so that it's easier to align things, make sure everything is um, set up the way that you want instead of kind of guessing where everything is um, in each canvas view. After you have set your post list up, um, you're ready to go ahead and set your single page um, template up, which will be next week's tutorial. Thanks for watching.